What's going on? This is Chip with WebVideoChefs.com. I'm going to show you how I actually use After Effects in Final Cut Pro 10. Um, I make lower thirds and After Effects and just uh, import them in. And it's pretty straightforward. So you have your template or whatever you have After Effects. This is for one of my clients, American Heart Association. So I'm just going to type in my lower third here. And the name is here on the paper. White. And then I'm going to put his title there. Uh, let's do face of heart. Okay, so once I do that, then um, there's a little third here. Uh, I'm not gonna go too much in depth about After Effects, but uh, once you have your lower third and everything typed up, I'm gonna choose a comp that's a composition. Then I'm just gonna hit Command M, or you can go up here and and do um, hit. You can add it, uh, make movie. So I just like hit, hitting Command M on the Mac. Then the real important thing I'm gonna do down here is go under Output Module. Then I'm going to choose RGB and Alpha. If you just choose RGB, it won't be transparent. So we're going to choose RGB and Alpha. I'm going to hit OK. Then I'm going to rename it, and I'm going to name it uh, the young man's name here. So J E D N, um, and we'll just put white. And then I'm going to hit Save, and then I'm going to hit Render Movie right here. And um, after that, we're going to import it right into Final Cut Pro 10. Okay, so now I'm in Final Cut Pro 10, and I'm going to go ahead and import uh, the After Effects files. Now remember, this is not round trip editing, and round trip editing for the, that you all don't know is that if you make a change, you can just click on it here. Since this is After Effects, um, it's an Adobe program. Motion has round trip editing, and I'll go over that in a, another tutorial how you get a motion project. I just prefer After Effects a, a lot more. I like motion, but I just prefer After Effects. So I'm going to go in and my American Heart Association follows right here. Go to motion graphics. Now I'm going to make sure I check import folders. That's keyword collection because I want that to be a keyword collection right there, how I have everything organized. So I'm just going to hit import that folder. And once I import that folder, it comes in as motion graphics, just how I needed it. So here's one of the things, and here are the lower thirds. So this young lady is Miss Khan, so I'm going to go ahead and just put it right down. I'm going to start it here, and then I'm going to just end it here. And I could just use it as connected clip and hitting the letter Q. Once I hit Q, it just puts it down there on the timeline, and then let's just see. Okay, so that is how I do it. Um, if I wanted to see the title safe or anything like that, um, I would click right there and show action safe. And um, it's not too much title safe, but this is for DVD and web, so we'll be fine with that one. And um, that's how you put in import graphics into After Effects. Um, I'm sorry, into Final Cut Pro 10 and After Effects. Take care. For more video tutorials, visit webvideochefs.com.